Hi, my name is Sebastian Faulhaber and um, today I would like to show you how to use um, the WebC cartridge for Red Hat's OpenShift Enterprise. So first of all we need to start um, the OpenShift Enterprise um, web interface. I'm just doing it for you. So we have to log in and we can see um, our applications that have been created before. As you can see here we have a JBoss EIP that has been created and a Jenkins server. And uh, what we are going to do now is to uh, create an instance of WebC application server. So we click on add application and um, as you can see here we have a, a cartridge available for IBM WebC application server for developers. So um, actually you need to install this cartridge before you can, can, can do this uh, on your own. I will show you the link to the documentation uh, later on. But for now we just uh, click on this here and um, now we have to enter um, a DNS name for our cartridge. We're using just uh, WAS01 uh, as a name um, and concerning the rest of the options we can just leave the defaults, small gear size, no scaling, no, no default source code. So um, with the cartridge we provide a sample application that you can use to uh, yeah, create your own flavor of it. So now we create, we click on create application and um, now the magic happens within um, OpenShift Enterprise. So what's happening under the hood is basically that um, a new WebSphere profile is being created with a profile management tool and um, the nice thing about this is that OpenShift Enterprise takes completely care of this yeah, rather manual process in, in usual WebC environments. So um, OpenShift will do all the nitty gritty stuff for you and will customize WebSphere to, um, um, to work in a, in a cloud and in a pass environment for you. So now the profile creation is finished. As you can see, um, everything worked fine. Um, OpenShift has created um, uh, a password for us that we can, uh, for our WebC admin user, that we can also use to, to log into the admin console. The link to the admin console is, uh, is shown here. And um, as you can see here, this, if you are familiar with WebSphere, you should, you t you should have seen this before. So, uh, instant conf success means uh, that everything worked fine and um, yeah additionally you can see some basic information um, about our WebSphere profile that is shown here. Okay cool so uh, what we're going now going to do now is to to log in to the admin console and um, yeah have a look at our WebSphere application server instance. So we click on this link here. Yeah, firstly, we, we see the, the basic application that has been, has been provided with, with the cartridge. Um, and uh, the link to our uh, WebC admin console is shown here. So we just uh, open it in a new tab. Now, here we go, enter the password. Now we have to wait a couple of seconds and um, I have to do a little trick in here. So let's log in, don't do. And um, now we should see the WebC application server console in a couple of seconds. Now here it comes. So first let's have a look at uh, the server view here. So WebC application servers. Um, we can see that um, yeah, we've created a uh, server one as our default server. Um, OpenShift on OpenShift node with a host name and uh, the basic version 
And yeah, if you are familiar with WebSphere, you can configure all your stuff like you would do in a, in a normal WebSphere application server environment. And uh, then we're going to have a look at applications. So uh, as I said before, um, we provide kind of, kind of a sample application that is being deployed with this cartridge. You can, you can see it here. Yeah, so it's actually running. Okay, cool. So um, we, we've seen now that we've provisioned a new instance of uh, WebSphere application server with uh, OpenShift. And um, in the next part of this demo, I would like to show you how the integration with, uh, with the development tooling works. So um, what I'm going, now, going to do now is to start um, JWAS Developer Studio. And um, we are going to deploy a change to the application. So uh, yeah, we are running th through the whole, uh, whole build and deployment cycle. So we just accept the defaults here and wait until our uh, IDE has spinned up. Cool, so that is looking fine. And as you can see down here, we have a special kind of plugin which is called OpenShift Explorer, which is um, an interface to our OpenShift instance. No, no updates, so we have to enter the password, click save and accept the fingerprint and now we can see our WAS01 uh, cartridge that we've been creating um, with a web interface and uh, from here you can do all, all, the, all, all the kind of stuff like lifecycle management, you can, uh, you can view the log files, list the environment variables as the admin password for example you can restart the application, um, make snapshots of the application, restore snapshots of the application and so on. So uh, I'm going to show you how to tail the log files. So um, as, you can he as you can see here, the log files are integrated in the Eclipse log file view. So um, as a developer, you, you don't even recognize that um, your installation of WebSphere is running in the cloud in a, in a PaaS environment. It feels really local, yeah. So, and as I said before, I, I would like to show you how to deploy or change an application and deploy it back to WebSphere. So what we can also do from here, we can import the source code. And um, yeah, we are just accepting the defaults here for our project, a new project is being created in our local workspace. Click finish here. This is our simple web application that we've, we've seen before and um, we are now going to change uh, just just uh, a simple a simple text string just to so, show you that the basic de build and deployment works. So this is our application here, and um, I'm going to change uh, this text to WebSphere is rocking on Red Hat. Open shift and save this one. And um, in order to start the whole build and deployment uh, lifecycle, we just have to commit our change and push it back to our OpenShift instance. And OpenShift will then take care of the whole build and deployment lifecycle. So we're going to team commit my first commit. And commit and push our changes. The build process is uh, based on Maven, so it's uh, you, you could also um, include a Jenkins to to automate this build further. And um, concerning the deployment into WebSphere, um, we are using the hot deployment for for WebSphere to 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 speed things up. So our commit was successful, as you can see here. And um, now we have a look at the log 
and um, this is really live so you can see WebSphere is, uh, is, is uh, stopping the application and um, yeah applying the changes we've made with the new application and is now restarting the whole stuff to 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 get the changes up and running yeah. so we have to wait a couple of seconds until WebSphere is finished Okay, I think uh, the instance is finished. Uh, our application started, processing has finished. So now we ha can have a look at our application and see if the change is, uh, is there. Yeah, as you can see here, here's our change and um, the change is ready to deploy. Thanks for watching and um, have a nice week. Bye.